Hi guys, it's Caitlin. Um, I'm trying out this new camera. I feel like you're all up in my grill right here. Um, let's see if we can fix that. <clears throat> Is that better? Hi guys, it's Caitlin. Um, I am, I don't feel great, so I sound like a dude. It is what it is. I apologize, but this is like the only time um, I didn't even post a video last week, and I'm not sure I'm gonna get to get another video up for next week. It's Sunday right now, so I feel like I'm kind of right in the middle of things, so it's totally acceptable. <coughs> I apologize. So, um, just kind of a little bit of a lowdown on what's been going on. Um, my mom moved. On Thursday we had to pack her I had the day off from work and so we had to get her out of our house because the new buyers uh, closed on the house Friday morning so we needed everything out of the house and she didn't close on her new house until Friday afternoon so I had the day off from work and um, I felt really crappy um, starting Wednesday at work I got a really sore throat and by the end of the day you know I work in a call center and I was on the phones all day and by the end of the day I literally had no voice and I sounded like a schmuck on the phones being like hi I'm the manager what can I do for you like just ridiculous so I knew things weren't great <coughs> sorry that night I got home and I just felt like all of a sudden like like a truck had hit me an 18 wheeler had run me over I felt like death um, I had a fever I was achy and chills were in my body and chills were in my body that's weird um, and so I just went right to bed on Wednesday night Thursday woke up and I still felt horrible I had the day off though to help my mom so I went over there um, and we packed up all of her stuff it was like a huge huge ordeal because you know she had a really large home uh, not really I mean not like a really large but she had a bigger home and she was trying to downsize because all the kids moved out um, and so she had just literally over 20 years of stuff in this home we had to get out and into truck so it was a long day on Thursday still felt really bad um, I ended up getting a t I had a temperature that was almost a hundred and three um, that night and so I decided that I wasn't going to be able to go to work on Friday and I needed to go to the doctor's Friday morning. I still didn't really have a voice. My throat was really hurting. My chest was really hurting. Uh, Friday morning I went to the doctor's and um, he told me that I have had a bacterial respiratory infection and laryngitis. And so that was fun. So they put me on uh, antibiotics, a Z-Pak. I think that's antibiotics and uh, some steroids so uh, I did that and then I didn't end up so I'm just like a hot mess like so Friday I went to the doctors and then I had to help my mom like move everything into her new house didn't go to work still had a temp Saturday I couldn't go to work the guy was like you need to wear a mask like you're really contagious or whatever and I was like sir I'm not wearing no mask so um, I, he told me I couldn't go to work on Saturday so I didn't even work Saturday, went back to my mom's house, helped her out. It's Sunday now, uh, I still feel like like death, but I don't have a fever, um, and my voice is obviously back. I sound like a guy, but it's still something, right? So um, my boyfriend's at my mom's now trying to help her organize, and I have to go get groceries done, and then we'll head over. But did you guys care about that? How far are we? I don't know. I'm, in, I'm using a new camera, so I don't really know how to tell, but um, that was like a five minute intro for nothing just to let you know that I feel like crap so I apologize but I will tell you that um I have some like exciting today's like exciting for me so <coughs> uno momento por favor so last video I think I did with you guys what even did I weigh I'm horrible I don't know I'll try and put it down in the description box um I think it was 314 was it 314 so um, I weighed in today I usually weigh in on Mondays it is what it is today Sunday it's a day early but I weighed in at 310.6 310 <laughs> 210.6 we're not going back up 210.6 um, and I was super excited I got on the scale three different times to just make sure that that was correct because that's like really exciting I haven't you know I'm a slower loser so kind of seeing these 
they're not huge losses, but it's a loss, right? It's a bigger loss. And then I'm 10 pounds away from Wonderland. So that's really, I'm really excited because initially I had wanted to get to Wonderland by June. Just as like halfway through the year, just seemed like a nice like round number, round date to get under uh, 200 pounds. And I was really discouraged thinking that I wasn't going to be able to do that as of, you know, a month or two ago. And I feel like it's super doable. Like I still have a, like a little over a month to lose 10 pounds, I think that that's doable. So I'm just really excited. And then I was talking to my boyfriend and I was like, oh, what do you weigh? Because last time you weighed, I think he said he weighed like 213 and it was a couple weeks ago. So I was like, you need to go weigh yourself right now. <coughs> so I made him go downstairs and uh, get on the scale. He weighed 213, 214. And I was like, <laughs> I just like, I'm so excited because I'm like so excited because I weigh less than him. It seems like silly and I don't look like I weigh less than him because he's really like muscular, like he's not jacked but he's just like muscle like um so I don't look like I weigh less than him but I freaking weigh less than him and I was like oh, okay like just really excited it feels really great to to know that I'm like tinier than my boyfriend like my obviously he was into like bigger women right and he I've always been bigger than him and he's never had an issue with it I initially felt a little uncomfortable about it because all you know people that I've been with previously were bigger and uh, generally bigger than I am or was uh, just because I felt more comfortable not necessarily that that's like this the type of person I was attracted to um, I just felt more comfortable feeling like a girl when I was with a bigger guy I felt like the the feminine one in the relationship I don't know if you guys anybody with PCOS is gonna be like an 18 minute long video sorry y'all but I don't know if anybody so I have PCOS and that um, causes me to have a lot more of the male hormone than um, I don't know like estrogen or something I don't know so I end up getting like facial hair down here that I have to take care of um, and it just causes a lot of um, like issues with my body and a lot of women who have PCOS have a hard time with losing weight and so that was one of the big factors of me having the surgery too just because my body just didn't respond to dieting and exercising the way that I had wanted it to so I don't know if that's the reason that I've always felt kind of less feminine than other girls I've always felt like um, like a masculine being so I think that's one reason that it's so important for me to do my hair not my hair my hair my hair is a hot mess always y'all you know that but to do my makeup and to like have my nails done otherwise I just feel like I'm going back into this like feeling of being more masculine and not a girl you know what I mean so I don't know if that sounds weird I don't know if anybody else has that but and just hearing you know PCOS just cause more testosterone uh, in females than you know you normally should have I didn't know if that's something that played into the fact that I just felt less girly and like more I don't know I'm not a dude I don't have a penis but I just felt less girly throughout my entire life and I don't know if being overweight and not being able to feel feminine and like dress sexy and, and feel beautiful had something to do with that um, but I think that's one reason I go to like one like the total opposite end of the spectrum as far as I have to have my makeup done, I have to have my lashes on, I feel like a dude if I don't have nails on. Um, I don't know if that's like my hormonal stuff. Um, but where the fuck was I going with this? Oh, so like with within a relationship, I kind of felt like a dude, like I felt like I was the masculine, not masculine, but being the bigger one, I just didn't feel as girly and feminine as I felt like I should have. So now I'm literally like less than my boyfriend. So I feel like I feel girly. And he was like hugging me today and he like actually put his arms, like his hands touched around my body and is like, oh, my tiny little girl. And I was like, oh, it's just so like, I don't know. I just feel so excited to be uh, less than my boyfriend. Is that weird, you guys? Um, I hope you can hear me. So that was, that's kind of like, it is a scale victory. It's a total scale, scale victory. So it's not an NSV. It's a total scale victory for me today. Um, and yeah, I'm excited that I'm only 10 pounds away from freaking Wonderland. 10 pounds, 10.6 pounds from Wonderland. Like that's awesome. Um, so what was I, I, I tried to film a video last week. It just didn't work. Um, I forget what I was talking about. Oh, 
I, I did have an NSV when I was helping my mom pack out about her stuff I was trying on. She had these bags of clothes. She was like, I need to return them. First of all, I want to say thank you so much. I don't think I've come on here since my mom's surgery. Thank you so much for all the love and support and the well wishes and the prayers and the thoughts for my mom. She's doing so well, like incredibly well. Surgery went beautifully. She was home within like four or five days, which was awesome. Um, she had her physical therapist go over and they were really impressed with her progress thus far. Um, they said that they think that because she had been working out so much before, it's really helped her muscles um, just kind of be ready for this in a weird way. Um, so she's really, really doing well. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I know she appreciates it. I just wanted to say thank you um, because I don't think I've gotten a chance to do that. So thank you so much. Um, so anyways, I was at her house and she had this bag uh, from TJ Maxx of stuff that she was saying she needed to return. And there were a cute pair of jeans in there and I was like, oh, these are like really adorable. And somehow we're like similar sizes. She's probably, I think she just thinks she's bigger than she is. She weighs um, less than I do, but um, you know, I'm always stealing her clothes now, which is fun. But um, these jeans were from TJ Maxx. They were, I think seven, so the seven brand, I don't know. But they were size 12 and she's like, I, I need to return them, whatever. So I was like, I'm gonna try these bitches on. So um, she was in her room and then my younger sisters were there and I was, so when NSV was, I just whipped down my pants <laughs> and uh, just took them off. I was like, you know, I don't, I don't really care if you guys see me, like I have a thong on, I have underwear on, but you guys are gonna see my big old booty and my thunder thighs, like I'm just more secure in who I am obviously because I feel better about myself. So that was an NSV and then I put these pants on and I was like, they're not gonna fake you in, they're not gonna fake you in. Keep pulling them up and then I buttoned them up and then I zip them up and those son of a bitches fit. They were tight, you know, they were definitely um, tighter. They were like a booty lift technology. Don't even know how that works. But um, I put them on and they were comfortable. Um, so I was like, girl, you're not returning these. I'm taking them. But she did make me leave them. Uh, she tried them on after and she said they were a little bit loose so I could have them shortly. So I'm looking forward to those being in my closet because I have no clothes. Like I feel like it was a struggle to find a black cardigan today and you guys know the black cardigan is like a staple in my wardrobe, so if I don't have a black cardigan that fits me, you know, you know, like shit's getting real. Um, I did actually go to Old Navy and get some new clothes. I got this new top. Actually, this is from Old Navy recently. So maybe I can do a haul for you guys at some point, because uh, I did get a few new things, a few new tops. So if you're into that, let me know, and I'll do that. Um, but so that was a great NSV just being able to fit into a size 12 pants. That's crazy. I've never, I mean, that's crazy. And maybe it was like vanity sizing, but I don't know because she was able to get into them and she's skinnier than I am. And I've been living in a pair of 14 jeans, like my weekend jeans. I just have one pair at this point that I'm wearing. So all my outfit of the days, I'm like, these people are going to think I'm so nasty because I only have one pair of, a pair of jeans. But I just, I don't have any more and I don't want to go spend money. I don't want to spend money on something that may not fit me for too much longer you know so <coughs> sorry um so that was exciting um and then I did want to kind of touch upon are we in focus you guys I can't tell with this thing it's like a really cool camera like a me I'm zooming in um it's a cool camera you guys and I'm just kind of trying to get used to it um, but you know everybody's asking for like makeup tutorials and I figured I found this camera I've really wanted a version of it for a long time and um, I found it and I bought it <laughs> I bought the damn thing and so now I have to get used to it but I figured like okay let's try it out Is that, that's out let's see so if we were to do like okay bend down girl and I look oh! <laughs> you guys don't judge me for like my eye look right now I didn't like blend my eyelashes very well. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, that's weird. Um, so I figured I could try and do some makeup things now too. Rather than on my ghetto um, phone, right? So anyways, um, one thing that I was thinking about, have been thinking about, and I when I tried to film my video last week, it was in there, um, was kind of like transfer addiction and where I'm at with that. I. Not that I hoped 
my transfer addiction would be shopping. I just know, like, by nature, I'm a shopaholic. I get it from my mama. And uh, my sisters and I, we just like to shop, you know? And I've just always been that way. Um, so I figured, I kind of figured that would be my transfer addiction. But I'm not really financially set up for that right now. My boyfriend and I are trying to save money and build credit um, to buy a house within the next year or so. So I'm trying really hard not to touch my credit cards and my bank account and, like, do some hardcore adulting. Uh, as of lately and it's tough but you know I just I know it has to be done because I don't want to I pay a retarded amount of money for this apartment and it's not even like it's not even mine I'm just helping the guy out my landlord and it's obnoxious it's a really you know it, it works well for our family because it's a you know three level duplex so it works well for us we all have our own space and everything but like if I'm paying fifteen hundred dollars a month like why is that not going towards my mortgage you know what I mean so it's just a matter of homes are just ridiculously expensive here and like the down payment and then we already pay so much like we just have to we gotta we have to buckle down so i can't be a shopaholic anymore right so i found that like last week i was having a really rough day on a on sunday didn't have my children we were helping my mom and all morning long i was just crying like crying all morning and my boyfriend's like like uh kaylin like are you okay like what's going on can you talk to me? Like, can you tell me what's happening? We're on the same team here. I'm trying to help you. Like, I don't want to see you cry. I want to know what's wrong. And I was like, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. I've just had some stuff kind of brewing in my mind recently, uh, or for a while actually. And I don't, I don't really like to talk about my feelings, uh, which is um, not, not great. It's not the healthiest, healthiest thing to do, right? So um, I know I just kind of got to spit it out one day, but it just festers in my brain and uh kind of rears its ugly head in my head and, and it makes me uh yeah i'm not gonna get into that i just there's something that bothers me and I, I don't like to talk about things so it got to me that day and i was like just crying um and all day it just affected me i wasn't in a great mood i wasn't like my normal self i didn't want to talk i didn't want to like have fun and laugh um and so that night i was just i was making dinner and then I was like, you know what? I'm just like sick of dealing with it. So I went to look for food. I went to look for crackers. Um, and thankfully, I've been like smart enough not to buy them uh, and keep them in my house because Lord knows if I had Cheez-Its, <laughs> if I had Cheez-Its and I had goldfish crackers, I feel bad for my kids because I can't even let them have those in the house. But if I had those two things in my house, demolished. Those would have been done like real fast, right? So that was my first instinct was to look for something to eat, look for food, something that would kind of calm me and soothe me. And I didn't, like I have regular food, I just wanted the crappy food that I shouldn't have. Um, so I didn't have that. So my next thought was, I got some tequila and I have some margarita mix and your girl loves me some margaritas. So I made myself a really strong margarita. I made dinner for my boyfriend and gave it to him and then I had music on and I just went and sat on my deck outside and like drank my sorrows away. And then I made a second margarita because I didn't want, still didn't want to feel what I was feeling and so I drank again. And then the more I kind of thought about it afterwards, I realized that this wasn't the first time that I had done that where I'm, you know, struggling with some thoughts or emotions and I didn't want to, I just wanted to kind of put them out to pasture and to block them for the time being and I've reached for bottle of tequila that I've had on hand. I mean, I've had it since my sister's wedding in January, so it's, it's a big bottle of tequila, it's a big bottle of margarita mix, but it's lasted me this long, so it's not like I'm drinking every single day. It's not like it's out of hand like that, but I just know uh, I need to be conscious of it. My, my biological father, he had some drinking alcoholic issues, so I know that I'm kind of more prone to it. So I just need to be more careful, especially when it gets nicer weather out, that's kind of what I want to do. Um, and socially, I just always have a margarita. Um, and then also just, it's not good. Like it has so much sugar and so many carbs, so much useless crap. Um, so I just need to, I need to be conscious of that. That's one thing that I think I'm gonna have to be very aware of and very mindful of um, is, is my alcohol cons consumption. I'm not gonna be like stressed out about it. If I'm clapping home having a margarita or just like shots of tequila every day, or I need like wine every day, then I think I'll be more um, like concerned. Right now, I just know that I need to kind of monitor it because I think, if anything, it's just hindering my weight loss. Um, so for that reason and that reason alone, I think I need to really um, be careful. 
So that is about it, you guys. Um, oh, actually, let's... You guys, look at the cute shorts that I bought at Target. Oh, they look so big. Um, at Walmart. Oh my god, look how big these are. Jeez. Imagine if I did hauls when I was like a 26, 28. Uh, but look how cute. This will make me feel better if I fold it up. Uh, I got these at Walmart. I never really shopped at Walmart, but look how cute. It's like the little ruffle details and then down the side. Very extra large from the junior section. Extra large. So cute and they fit me. They were like $7. So you bet your ass, I don't care about my wrinkly knees, I'm gonna wear some shorts this summer. Okay? Um, and I think that's about it, you guys. I mean, I don't have a lot more that I can talk about. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. I really appreciate you guys. Like, I just never kind of ceases to amaze me, all the people that, the new people that roll in. If you guys are new... <laughs> If y'all are new subscribers and you have a channel, please feel free to let, uh, let me know down below because I'm always on the lookout for new um, channels that I don't really uh, haven't found or discovered. I don't have a lot of time at work anymore now that I've changed my position, but I am trying to find time after work to get on the good old YouTubes and watch everybody's and catch up on everybody's videos. So if I haven't been commenting, I'm so sorry, I haven't had a chance to watch anything. But yeah, if you have a channel and I, I haven't checked you out, please feel free to leave it down below. I, I love watching uh, new people and, and discovering uh, new people and following your journey. So let me know. I'd love to do a shout out video too soon. So let me go down below and uh, I'll check you out and hopefully I'll get a shout out video up in the near futures. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching as usual. Um, I love y'all. I, lo I love you guys. You're my peeps. So um, if you have any questions, you know what to do with it. Um, put it down below. Hit me up on any of the social media sites that I have. Um, that's weird. On like Instagram or Facebook or email me. Whatever works for you guys. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, there is one thing. Jody, I got this package when I was sick, right? We've been like sending back and forth this cute little package and I love it. But she's like, you're too much, girl. Okay, you're too much. Uh, with the stuff that she's sending me. But... Is this, okay. I know that Drea did a video about this. Will this automatically focus? Let's see if this works. The Fit Crunch Bar, you guys. So good. I was so excited that she sent me one and then I bought one at Walmart uh, for lunch and I ate it yesterday. So good, you guys. The Fit Crunch, this is the peanut butter. I bought the cookies and cream. I might try that today for lunch. But this is like amazing. Really good. The snacks are not too bad. <laughs> in it, but this is the smaller one. No. No. Um, I bought a bigger bar that I had for lunch uh, from Wal uh, Walmart, but these things are really good, so Jody, thank you for everything. You know, right, we're right there. So, um, that is, honestly, that's it this time, because I gotta go grocery shopping, I gotta do some laundry, I gotta get you done. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Guys, next time, and I love you. Bye, guys. Oh yeah, right. I'm never gonna be able to shut this thing off. I can't even shut my own cell phone off.